Hey, this is Rick from uh, Lincoln Vlogs to all you sports fans out there. Um, I just noted something unusual the other day. Uh, one would think that by watching the NFL games on uh, Red Zone and uh, by virtue of the handful of people overhanging the, uh, the safety wall in the end zone, that uh, you get the impression that these, uh, these stadiums are overflowing with paying fans. Au contraire. In uh, angle shots that require a view of the reality on the ground, we are presented with a different perspective. NFL fans are not showing up in droves. The NFL's choice to allow players to dominate the industry's business decisions is backfiring on the game. As it should be, the NFL chose incorrectly. They should have chosen the fans over the players. The NFL is always whining about extending the season because of the toll it takes on the, the regular players during the regular season due to injuries. However, what they are choosing not to disclose is that they have hundreds of substitutes waiting on the sidelines to get off of their couches, take the field, and be ready to play. Those couch potatoes are sometimes better than the veterans and most certainly don't give a rat's ass about taking a knee at anthem time. They want to play and they want to get paid. They need the money. The NFL loses revenue on everything from attendance to ratings to gear sales across the board without their stars. That's the point here. The NFL has become more corrupt and disingenuous than the Justice Department's FBI. This is a monumental joke. Next game you see on TV, watch the cameramen, as well as their sky cam. Avoid every possible view of the empty seats. It's laughable. 50% of the stadium is vacant. What they will show you are the players who have scored leaping into the stands in the end zone where a handful of diehards are staked out for a free football. One cannot make this shit up. The game and the brand are inextricably intertwined. However, the shine is off the chrome. We may see Justin Timberlake again this year at the Super Bowl, or better yet, the Supper Bowl and the food line. Take time to take a knee and pray these idiots didn't completely destroy once one, what once was because of some politically correct hacks. Probably should open an investigation into collusion by Trump and the owners. Thank you. This is Rick from uh, Lincoln Vlogs.